the cut segment of the amniotic cavity. This is basically the ectodermal layer. Eventually you will see a formation of a primitive streak here and a primitive node. Although it's in a cut portion here, but you can see how from this point onward there's a communication down till the yolk sac. But this is in the third week. What happens after that immediately? There is folding of the neuroectoderm. Originally it was ectoderm, it became neuroectoderm and the neuroectoderm will then undergo folding. This is basically neurulation happening. We can see how the tube is forming, but the cranial neural pore and the caudal neural pore, they will remain open. They will close at which date specifically? 28th and 25th. 25th and 28th. Over here you can see the somites, which have their own derivatives. Sclerotome, dermatome is a separate thing. Here we can see the cardiogenic area, which will form the future heart. It's a bit horseshoe shape. Coming from there to here, Beyond the six week, we can see many features coming visible on the fetus. We can see the optic placard forming. We can even see the pharyngeal arches over here and the pharyngeal grooves. Here are the somites enlarging. Here is the cardiogenic area and the hepatic area. Here we can see the optic placards. Here was the optic one, here is the optic one. Over here, you can see how the Optic placo uh, has become more compressed visible. Here you can see the medial and lateral lips, which are forming the nasal pits. These are your nasal pits over here. Again, same arches. Here we finally have the limb buds, the upper limb bud, lower limb buds. If we remove the outer layer to see insides, again, optic uh, placo area, the optic one for the ear, the pharyngeal uh, arches, and even the uh, pharyngeal arch arteries which are supplying them. Again, you will see all of these things in second year actually. Down below, we can see the hepat uh, hepatic area and the cardiac area. Here we have a single formation of the descending mesonephric tubules. Again, this is not important for you to know. Just know that all of these structures are sometimes visible on the fetus. Just learn it up till here. This should be enough for you.